name's Simon with Football Guys and I'm back with another video on the DFS lineup optimizer and we're going to have a look at exposure and how you can control that in the lineup optimizer. So the first thing just so everyone is clear, exposure is how many times a player features in a set of lineups. So I've just built 200 lineups and you can see here that Travis Kelsey in the first line, he was in 188, which is 94% of those lineups and Lamar Jackson was in 88% and so on. So when, when you build the lineups, you'll also get an exposure report for the teams broken down like that. So you can see your kind of exposure at an NFL team level. But for this video, we're going to concentrate on the individual players. So then the kind of question becomes, why would you want to edit exposure? I think there are two main reasons. The first is because in GPPs, how much you're exposed to a player compared to their projected ownership percentage is really important. There's a kind of what we might call like the kind of correct level for a player to be exposed to. And um, if that number is greater than how we project them to be owned in that contest, you're going to want to play a little more of them. Um, but if generally people are going to have more than we would suggest that they have, that may be a player that you want to bet against on that week. So kind of think about this, like even if we project a player at, uh, to, to score kind of 20 points, if 99% of the other entries are going to have that player in, you're much better off taking the one percent, uh, sorry, the quite high percent chance that he doesn't score his 20 points and scores a lower amount. That means that that lineup can't win the GPP. And if that happens, instantly 99% of the field has pretty much been wiped out and your competition to win this thing has massively decreased. So even though that's less than 50% likely to happen, the chance that when it does means that you dominate the whole thing means that you want to play that guy less. So that's the first reason in GPPs. The second reason is for your own bank balance, your own bank role that it's, it, it often doesn't make sense to completely go all in on a player um, who's a great play just in case he flops in that week. You don't want to be overexposed to that guy. And um, our staff have written some great articles on this subject, so check them out on our website in the DFS section at footballguys.com if you want to read some more about it. So what we can do now, having done this build and we've got uh, this set of this kind of distribution of exposures, is we can go back and we can edit this profile here. And specifically, if we go to the player screen, what we've now got is that same report if we saw it on last exposure that we just saw, but now we can edit accordingly. So we can take a look at these top players and we can selectively go through this list and take down the ones we're not happy with. So let's say I only wanna be 20% exposed to Travis Kelsey um, and let's say I don't like Mark Andrews at all, so I'm going to completely take him out. And we'll also say I don't like D.D. Westbrook at that amount. Um, and another thing that you can do here is you can edit all of these max exposures in one go. So let's just say I don't want to be more than 50% exposed to any player at all across the board. You can come in here and you can say um, set all max exposures to no more than 50%. And what that's going to do is it's going to set everyone who's currently above 50 down to 50. So those two edits that we just made of Kelsey um, and Westbrook, they'll stay where they are, but everyone else is going to get knocked down to 50. So there we go. Everyone's down to 50, and you can see that 10 and that 20 are still there. And then we can rebuild again. And now the optimizer, if we switch to the exposure screen as the lineups build, it'll as it goes keep a track of how each player is exposed and when they start to edge above where they should be it's going to hold off on lineups featuring that player for a while until their ratio is back kind of where it should so we'll just wait for this to finish and then check back in So the build has finished and you can see no players above 50% here. There's a bunch of players capped off at exactly 50. And then if we keep scrolling down, we can see Travis Kelsey. We set him to a max of 20%. He was used, in fact, in 16%. And then D.D. Westbrook went down to 8% where we'd set a max of 10. So there you have it. Um, the 
exposure reports are also available on the lineups tab up here which compares multiple lineups which is handy because that's the subject of the next video so hang around on the dfs lineup optimizer playlist for more on that and other things in the optimizer mm -hmm.